Alright, we're going to look at how to take a quadratic equation that's in what we call standard form. Remember, standard form looks something like this. Let me pull this down real quick. Uh, standard form looks like this. Uh, you might have an equation like y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, whereas vertex form is where you have y equals x minus h quantity squared plus k. Now, th I mean, you can find the vertex inside of this guy right here, um, and it's pretty straightforward, but it's, you know, you got to do a little calculation. Here you can see the vertex because you can just pull and you get h comma k is your vertex. And so you can real easily see what's going on. And it's also easy to see intercepts and so forth. So by putting things in vertex form just kind of makes your life a little bit easier. Oops, I forgot an A out in front right there. All right, so that's the main gist here is we have our vertex form. We're trying to put the standard form equation into. The process looks like this. this is a step-by-step -step procedure. The first thing we need to do is we need to kind of, I guess, isolate the X's. So we're going to kind of group the X's like so and just squeeze the plus 3 away. Just push him off to the side a little bit. Okay, This is the crux to the problem right here. You take your B coefficient. Remember, that's this is your A out in front. You got B right there and you have C. You take your B coefficient you divide it by 2. That gives you 2. You take that quantity and you square it and you put it back. Now here's also the trick to this. This has to be a balanced equation. Now we just magically added 4 to this side. Now we're doing it to complete a process, but to keep our equation balanced we must also subtract 4 from that constant on the end. So that's the process right there. That's the crux to this problem. If you can do that part right there, then you can complete the square to be able to go from standard form to vertex form. Last step, y equals, remember vertex form looks like this, right? You have x. This guy right here is where you take. You take this number right here, that half of that b term. So you take that number right there. Since it's positive, you say plus 2. And then on the very end, you've got 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. And there you have your equation in uh, vertex form. Okay, so let's take and put that into our problem. All right, so that was open parentheses. Oops, open parentheses, not Z, Josh, but X plus 2, close parentheses, squared, arrow over, minus 1. My y, my x-intercept and my y-intercepts. Okay, so let's go take a look at those real quick. All right, so we have this equation right here. Remember that if you're finding x-intercepts, that means you let y be equal to zero, and if you're finding y-intercepts, you let x be equal to zero. So let's go for our x first. So 0 is equal to x plus 2 quantity squared minus 1. All right, now remember I told you several things with this. Um, you're welcome to do this algebraically, or you're welcome to use your, your calculator or that website, and I'll make that website available here shortly. So at this point, I move the 1 to the other side. So plus 1, plus 1. So I get 1 equals, sorry, I forgot to change colors, x plus 2 quantity squared. Now the question is, how do I undo a square? To undo a square, I take a square root. If I do it to one side, I've got to do it to the other. So now I'm left with x plus 2 equals, sorry, I get in a hurry and it doesn't work as well, plus or minus 1. All right, at this point now, that means I have two situations. I have x plus 2 equals negative 1 and I have x plus 2 equals positive 1. So I solve both of those. I find out here that x equals negative 3 and I find out right here that x equals uh, negative 1. 
All right, so those are my x-intercepts. Now let's do my y-intercepts. So in that case right here, I say y equals 0 plus 2 quantity squared minus 1. So y equals 2 squared minus 1. So y equals 3. So that means I have x-intercepts at negative 3, 0 negative 1, 0, and I have y-intercepts at 0, 3. That's supposed to be a comma. Alright, so let's go back and put those in. Alright, so I have two x-intercepts. I have one y-intercept. We'll check that answer real quick. Okay, and now it says right here, so we got negative 3, tab 0, tab, negative 1, tab 0, tab, oops, and we have 0 tab 3. We check our answer. Alright, now we're supposed to choose our graph. So now if we go back to this, remember that my vertex, okay, I'm going to come back to this sheet here to, for discussion purposes. So now the whole idea of this problem right here is if I come and take a look at this, you'll notice that if I take this guy right here, this is my H and this is my K. So that means that when I pull things out, if I want to find the center, I'm sorry, not the center, excuse me, if I want to find the vertex of my quadratic function or my parabola, it's going to be negative 2, negative 1. Because you always pull out the opposite of what's inside of there. It's kind of like saying X plus 2 equals 0. So that means x equals negative 2. Alright, so let's go back and see if we can find our graph. So we come down here. First of all, our graph is positive a, so it's going to open up. So it can't be a, because that opens down. It can't be b, because it opens down. Positive 2, negative 1. I thought our vertex was that negative 2, negative 1. So that one can't be it. And there we go. Negative 2, negative 1 opens up. So the answer is D. Let's go over there. There it is. D. And we come down. And we check our solution. And look for the green check mark. Perfect. Now, one last thing. I'm going to hit pause. I'll come right back. Remember this calculator right here, you could also use, remember our equation was x plus 2. Um, let me minimize my screen a little bit because I know that I kind of have a recording space there. So I have um, x minus 2 squared, whoops, squared, and then that's, I'm sorry, x plus 2 squared minus 1. And so when I graph that, I get an equation that looks like that. Now, I went through and did that work by hand. I went through and found my x-intercepts at negative 3, 0, at negative 1, 0, and my y-intercept at 0, 3. You could have also graphed it and taken a look at the graph that way. Um, I don't have a problem. I just wanted to show you both ways. All right. One more time. That was um, a problem of taking something from standard form to vertex form by completing the square. The completing the square part was this part right here where we half the b, square it, put it back, and that's where we get our equation from, completing the square.